should be a. Did you guys see my rap? I should be. I'm pretty good. Maybe I should beatbox next. <laughs> no, you guys don't think that's a good idea? I feel like you're probably right and probably onto something there. Well, hello, you guys. How is everybody? It is Friday today. It is a long weekend. I hope everyone has some fun, maybe, plans. Looks like it might rain a little bit on us, but that's okay. We can still make rain fun, right? Have any of you ever gone out in the rain when it was pouring and, like, got your hair wet or washed your hair out in the rain or anything crazy like that? Sometimes that's really fun to do. I have just one book today because it's a little bit of a long book. Um, but you guys I haven't read any of my favorite tractor books. Do you know who my favorite tractor is? Otis. Otis the tractor. If you guys have not read these, you have to. We are going to read the very first Otis today. But check this out. We have Otis and the kittens. We have Otis and the puppy. We have Otis and the Tornado, Otis and the Scarecrow, and Otis Christmas. This one's so sweet. They're all so sweet. I love them all. And Lauren Long is the author, and she's amazing. So, with no further ado, let's get into our book, Otis. There was once a friendly little tractor. His name was Otis, and every day Otis and his farmer worked together taking care of the farm they called home. Otis liked to work. But after working hard, Otis was ready to unwind and play, and he would ride the rolling hills and skirt mud pond down by the corn. He would leapfrog bales of hay and explode through the haystacks. On occasion, he would chase a rabbit or play ring around the rosy with the ducks to the sound of his steady puff, puff, puffity, chuff. And sometimes at the end of the day, he would just sit under the apple tree and watch the farm below. Every night, tired but happy, Otis would puff, puff into the little stall in the barn that was all his. One night when Otis was fast asleep, the farmer brought a beautiful baby calf into the barn. The calf bawled and bawled for her mother, but when the sleepy sound of the soft puff, puff, puffity chuff came from the next stall, the scared little calf stopped bawling and drifted off to sleep. From that day on, the calf started following the little tractor wherever he went. Puff, puff, puffity chuff. She followed him over the rolling hills and down by Mud Pond. She was right behind him, leaping, frog, leaping frogging bales of hay. And the calf made their games of ring around the rosy all the better. Sometimes at the end of the day, the two of them would just sit together under the apple tree and watch the farm below. Otis loved his little calf, and the little calf loved Otis. Then one day, the farmer surprised everyone with a brand new yellow tractor. Time to move out, Otis, the farmer said. He took Otis out of the little stall in the barn that was all his and parked him back behind the barn. Then he backed the big yellow tractor into the stall next to the little calf. But the little calf didn't like the big yellow tractor. He had a deep rumbling snore that shook the stall when he slept. There was no one to purr the little calf gently to sleep. No one to spend her days with. And Otis? Otis could not even see his farm. As the weeds began to cover his tires, his friend often sat with him. But she could not get him to play like the old days. It was early summer when the farmer discovered a poster. Who was the prettiest calf in the land? Judges will decide at the county fair, 
and the award of fancy blue ribbon to the winner. The farmer knew the answer. He would show the little calf. But on the morning of the fair, the little calf was nowhere to be found. She had wandered down to Mud Pond by the cornfield to cool off. When she waded into the muddy water, her feet sank. With every step, she sank deeper and deeper and deeper. The little calf was stuck in Mud Pond. Get the hands, the farmer shouted when he saw her. All the farmhands came running with their ropes, but the more they tugged, the more stuck the calf got. Get the big yellow tractor, the farmer shouted. He can save her. But the big tractor just scared the little calf. She sank in deeper and deeper. Nearby farmers began to gather. Then, call the fire department, Douglas, and the fire truck, the farmer shouted. They can save our little calf. But the sight of the big red fire truck startled the little calf even deeper. The farmer was fit to be tied. If the farmhands and the big tractor and even fire chief Douglas and his fire truck couldn't save the little calf, who could? Suddenly, the little calf's ears perked up. Over the hum of the growling crowd, there came a faint sound in the distance. A soft, rhythmic purr. Put, puff, puffity, chuff. The crowd turned and looked. The sound became louder. Puff, puff, puffity, chuff. And all at once, Otis puff, puffed from around the barn. He turned and headed straight towards Mud Pond. Otis puff, puffed down the rolling hill and pulled right up next to the muddy water's edge. The calf heard her friends puttering purr and bawled. It was something like, hello. Then to the sound of his gentle chuff and the amazement of all the people in the crowd, Otis slowly began to circle the pond. He circled and he circled and the little calf turned and turned, never taking her eyes off her friend. With each ring Otis made around, made around Mud Pond, the muddy grip loosened until the calf was able to stumble out of the pond on her own. The two friends had found each other again. Otis led the calf right down the dusty road toward the village and everyone threw flowers as they went, following them into town. It looked like a happy parade. No one needed a fancy blue ribbon to tell them that the calf was a special calf. Otis was a special tractor and the two of them were special friends. From that day on, the farmer discovered that with Otis's puttering purr beside the chicken coop, his chickens laid more eggs. At milking time, with Otis' gentle chuff nearby, his cows produced more milk. On occasion, Otis even got to join the farmer and the big yellow tractor out in the fields. But often, at the end of the day, Otis would just sit with his friend under the apple tree and watch, watch the farm below. The end. What did you guys think? Do you guys think that Otis is also your favorite tractor? Oh, I just love those books. Like you said, we have a bunch more, so come and check them out this summer so you can read them. Plus, uh, they are an AR test. Just because it's summer doesn't mean you don't have to take AR tests. You sure can. Woohoo! Hi, Beth. It's good to see you. Happy Friday to you, and I hope you have a great weekend. And I hope everybody has a great weekend. With that, remember next week and the following weeks, we are going to go Wednesdays at 3 o'clock for live only. Then, that's tomorrow. That's next week. And then also, we are going to do um, come June. We got lots going on. June, every Monday through Friday in June, we're going to have something fun and exciting like we did. We're going to do live story time there at 10 and at 3. So watch for that too. We're excited. I got some really fun things planned. Oh, it's going to be so fun. All right, you guys have a great weekend. Be kind.